Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 15.7.4 right on your Windows PC using Palenix or the Palerange jailbreak. The method shown in this video is completely free. As you can see, I have this iPhone 7 on iOS 15.7.4. The good thing is that on A10 devices or iPhone 7, you will be able to set a passcode and use touch ID while jailbroken with pale range jailbreak. First things first, on Windows, visit the official website of pale range jailbreak and you will see downloads. Right here, you will see pale nix and you will see the latest version of pale nix here. Scroll down a bit and get the AMD 64.ISO for the pale nix from here. Now to make it into a bootable flash drive, you can use Rufus. Rufus is also completely free. So head to the official website for Rufus and then get it from here. Once you have these two, the ISO for Palenix and Rufus, right click on Rufus and run it as administrator. Now simply plug in a USB flash drive a 2GB or more USB flash drive is enough. Now simply drag and drop the ISO onto Rufus. Leave everything as is, then hit start and make sure that you write in DD image mode from here, all right? And then hit OK. Hit OK again, OK. And wait for the process to complete. When the process is done, you will see ready here. Now simply close out of Rufus and then restart your computer. All right guys, so after restarting your computer, go to the boot manager by pressing F9 or F12, depending on your computer's manufacturer. And then you will see your USB flash drive right here. Hit enter and wait for the pale next to load. You will see the Palenix menu in front of you. Now here, connect your device via USB. You will see this trust dialog on your device. Now, simply trust it. Now go to the option for Palerain. Then go to options. And if you are doing this on a freshly restored device, you will have to create fake FS first or bind FS. If you have a 16 GB device, you can use bindfs because it will take about 2 to 3 gb of space but if you have a larger capacity device you can use fake fs then hit space to select it then hit enter also if you want to switch between rootful or rootless you can do so by hitting the switch option i will go with rootful now hit start and your device will go into recovery mode first. Now from here, get it into GFU, press enter, and then follow the instructions. Wait for the process to complete. Here you will see verbus, and it will create the root FS for you. Here it can take about 10 minutes, so please wait. One more thing, if on A9 devices you are stuck on the booting of Pongo OS, please leave it here. Then press Ctrl C and then rerun the process. This time it will work. Phase 1 is complete and the device will reboot into normal mode. You will not see the Palerain loader yet. Now press enter, then go to options and make sure the bind FS or fake FS is not selected this time now hit enter hit start and your device will again go to recovery mode now from here get it into dfu mode by following the instructions all right this time your device will boot and it will be jailbroken you'll see the pale loader on your home screen before we check out how to use the pale loader we will get back to windows Press enter, exit, and then reboot. 
At this point, remove the USB flash drive. Now guys, on your device, make sure that Wi-Fi is connected. Now open the parent loader and you will see the version. So it is indeed running 15.7.4 iPhone 7. Now hit install and wait for the files to be downloaded like the bootstrap and so on. Almost complete. And then you will see this respring button. So respring. All right. So after a respring, you will see Cilio. First of all, the version. So 15.7.4 jailbroken iPhone 7. So now let's update. So they are updating just fine. Restart Cilio. And you can see everything is working just well. You may be wondering that substitute is not installed, but it will be installed when you install something from Cilio, like so. So as you can see, the tweaks are working just well. Yes, on A10, you can set a passcode while jailbroken. So let me apply a passcode. And you can see I am jailbroken and the passcode is working just fine. That's all for this video. If you still have doubts, please message me in the comment section. I will reply you and help you. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care.